Another sign of the time is more severe thunderstorm threat outside right now. All is quiet, but by this time tomorrow, I am fully expecting at least for the hill country. There will be a severe weather threat, probably a watch, possibly some warnings as we watch storms fire up ahead of and along our next cold front. Right now it's 79, made it to a high of 91 today, our 13th day this year of 90 plus heat, but not as hot as last year when we set a record on this date of 98. Overnight lows dropping into the mid to upper 60s, a little bit more humid than what we experienced last night. Then through the day tomorrow, lots of sunshine, high temperature up to 93, not quite to the record of 98 degrees. And then we start to bring in some rain chances. And unfortunately, it's not just average ordinary rain, it's the possibility of strong to severe thunderstorms. Look for 93 in Lano, 91 in Round Mountain, 91 degrees in Bastrop. As far as the storms, right now I'm expecting most of our area to be under the threat of high winds, hail, maybe isolated flooding, especially if we pick up a quick inch or two of rain. The highest threat will be everyone from northwest of Fayette County. In LaGrange, it doesn't look very promising for much rain and or storms, but everywhere to the north and west, especially in the hill country, it is fair game we see things get going. Possibly as early as around 4 to 6 p.m. tomorrow out in the northwest hill country for the rest of us the evening through the overnight. As you can see, that even a low end flood at risk, especially to the north and west of Austin. So tonight there's a dry line out west. It did generate a few storms, none of those heading in our direction. Tomorrow night, the cold front that's to our north will be making its way toward us. It officially pushes through right around sunrise on Saturday. But here's what to expect ahead of it. Tomorrow morning, 69 degrees out the door. We'll see a lot of sunshine, some passing clouds. Midday 85, still dry and waiting. This is the latest high rest computer model. It does generate storms to our north and west, not quite into our area by about 4 p.m. But then as we work our way into the evening, potentially a couple of rounds. The first one could reach the northwest hill country, Mason and Lano counties around 9 p.m. or so, give or take an hour or two, bringing potential of high winds possibly out through the the hill country. Then the second round develops again in the same locations. We could be dealing with heavy rain, high winds ahead of that cold front. Finally, the cold front pushes through our area in the Austin area by about daybreak. And incidentally enough, the worst of the weather may bypass areas, especially east of I-35. Then we see things dry out. As far as rainfall totals, I will say, I think that the Austin area will see more than a few hundredths of an inch of rain, but I also have concerns out in the hill country that there could be too much rain too fast with possible flood advisories issued. Another thing behind that cold front and our severe weather risk, cooler for the weekend. Temperatures topping out in the 80s all the way through next week and then into the maybe midweek next week, close to 90 again. We'll be right back.